Heard you were looking for dead sec, yeah? Wasn't sure you'd come knowing I'm part of the establishment. Or at least I was until Albion dismissed Parliament. I do want to say, what you've done in Westminster is remarkable. You've given the people hope. Somehow saying, we told you so, isn't as satisfying as a fault. Let's just get Albion sorted, yeah? I couldn't agree more. That's why I contacted you. Albion haven't simply shut down the government. They've sullied the Palace of Westminster, the Great Bell, with their propaganda. Do you understand what that looks like? If you really want to rekindle some of the people's fighting spirit, then restoring the clock tower would go a long way. Love it. No better symbol for taking back what's ours from Albion. Let's give the people some hope. I knew I could count on you. It will be wonderful to hear the bell once more. There is some security around the bell tower, but that shouldn't pose a problem. A bigger issue will be getting to the top. Thoughts? A spider bot should do the trick. Sierra 42, Sierra 42, this is control. An alarm has been activated near you. Survey the area. Over. I'm coming for you. Urgent call. Possible hostile at your location. Officer down. Send help. Other patrols have eyes on the suspect over. Going in for a look. I couldn't have gone far. I'm in pursuit of the target. <laughs> Anyone to see the suspect? Investigating. Negative. No yeah, sign of the target yet. Go. Taking fire. Somebody help that officer. Over. Control, we have a visual on the suspect. This area is being reported by the GBB. 
All units disengage. Suspect has disappeared. The path up to the top of the tower is treacherous. All crawl spaces and gantries. More suited to six mechanical legs than two human ones. Sounds like a gas.
should do it. was moving, truly. To hear the chimes again, to see that tower the way it's meant to be seen, means everything to the people of this borough. It's out of Albion's hands and back in the people's the way it should be. Everyone needs a symbol to rally behind. It represents our parliamentary democracy. To have Albion deface it the way they did, it's clear what they were up to. Thank you, Deadsec. Brilliantly done. Westminster will surely rise up against Albion after this. Cheers. Shit, it says Hitman right on their profile. I do love that kind of confidence, eh? Forgive me for saying, but you look like the kind of lunatic who wants to change things. Fuck me. Are you dead sick? I could use your help. We might be able to help. What's the situation? I don't like talking about it, but uh, I kind of fell into doing smuggling for the Kellys. It was small-scale shit at first, yeah. Knock-off electronics, clothes, maybe a little weed. The shit kept getting bigger, though, and, and now there's this big arms sale going down, and I have to move the shipment. I'm listening. I'm done with this shit, but I can't walk away until I've cleaned up this mess. That arms dealer's got to be torched, and the shipment taken out. Can't let the Kellys have their weapons. OK. We'll handle it. Cheers. Help me with this, and I'll make it worth your while, if you know what I mean. The weapons shipment is being prepared at one of Clank Kelly's hideouts. I'll send you the coordinates. I'm on it. The thing you're after is around here. I'll smash it up then. Oh, Roy, that wasn't so hard. What's next? Lock it all down. Probably long gone, but let's search anyway.
give me the time and effort. They got me! They got me! They got me! Oh! It's done. Cheers, dead sec. Shit. Clan Kelly is bad enough without being armed to the fucking teeth. Hopefully this slowed down their arsehole will read for a while. You know, dead sec's looking for fighters. And you seem to have some fight in you. How about letting it out? Fuck yeah. Sign me up. Excellent. Our little posse's growing. Welcome to Dead Sec. Thanks. I'm ready to bring real justice where it's needed. Fantastic. So, I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases centre around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Let's find our contact. Arben's not going to hesitate to hurt Ianjal if they find out he's dead sick. summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. This is off the record, right? I don't need them knowing we're here. 
No worries, I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? New me, eh? Have a drink? Not half bad considering it was made in a bleeding bathtub. Huh? Don't worry. They let us have our little voices in here. Keeps us quiet. Right. More for me. Can't be picky. Same doctors, lawyers, street vendors come through. It's all the same once you're in here. What do you mean? We're all equally dehumanized. As far as the man in the street's concerned, we're the reason the city's gone to shite, you see. So these pricks can do whatever they want to us. Oh, yeah. Ain't no one gonna do anything about it. Where's dead sec when you need him? Sorry, what was that? Ah, nothing. Name and I guess. Think I need another drink. Listen, stay clear of those Albion wankers new meat. Stay away from the clinic if you can. What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. This is all so wrong. How is the government gonna go on treating people like animals? You could disappear and no one even notice. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. As expected, if there's trouble, that damn Mary Kelly has to be involved. True. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. Information is power and all that. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Gonna keep looking.
Bagley, tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DedSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the Four Corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Are you done, Bugs? I've reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Nice work.
CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. J just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Ah! Looks like an implant or something. We need to take a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orgy that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. They put a microchip in his neck. But for what? Tracking? Behavior modification? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Follow him. Let's hope he got a weir. Fucker! Get him! Before he triggers! Getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel. You fuckers! Okay, he's gonna make it. I wasn't expecting that. Looks like that chip wasn't just some ordinary tracker. It might have been triggered in some way. At least it looks like Angel's still alive, whatever Mary Kelly's up to. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. I'm not bragging, but I think I'm doing pretty damn good fighting with Dead Sick. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Thank you, sir. I think. Yeah, he sounds like a proper prick. But deep down, he's a soft one. <laughs> Good job. Suspect reported in your area. Damn. So this is where Kelly's body, Angel? Nasty place. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. Negative. No vision of the suspect. Access that network, shall we? Start searching. Big thunder. Moving on. All clear here. I'm going to take some more out. Nothing
I've gone over the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. That's our move then. My oh my, Deadbolt Trump's technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Wonderful.
Fatality! All right, then. Come on out. I'm not gonna cut you. For the distraction gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. Are you all right? He was about to perform some kind of surgery, wasn't he? He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Well, on. you're Caitlin Law, a police inspector, if I'm not mistaken. We found your video logs. You went after Mary Kelly on your own. That is very brave. He wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are you? You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. Not quite. A friend of ours disappeared from the EPC, and the clues led here. I can't believe this is where all the missing people went. This is monstrous. And I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. God, I feel like shit. You need for rest. I'm going to call someone from DedSec to take you somewhere where you can recover. Meanwhile, I'll find Angel and your files. Sounds like they're essential. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. Good. I hope this means you can work together, Inspector. After this, DedSec officially has taken interest in Mary Kelly. All right, an operative is on there. Court Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And thanks for your help. There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. And I bet none of them volunteered. Mary Kelly's evil knows no bones. Ready, Ross? Their faces look so badly damaged that I can't tell them apart. Bugley, can you help? Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Take... ...needs to be a DedSec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in Zero Day? Well done, you got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. No kidding. Dead sec? Caitlin Lau here. I uh, wanted to thank you. 
I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now. Or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Never thought DedSec would be getting into bed with the cops. But we're game for anything if it stops Mary Kelly. Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources, and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Hey, Box. Call up the war team. We need to go through these files and come up with a plan. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. You can do your corporate espionage from there. Dear to know. Copy that. I'll analyze the company records while you get to safety.
This is unique. I'll keep looking. What do you have, Buckley? Well, I found our prospect's replacement. It's an AI. And a pretty shoddy one at that. Nowhere near as smart as me. It could maybe replace a few million humans at most. Jesus. Oh, right. I suppose from your perspective, that's a lot. If you like, we can go destroy it before it puts anyone else out of work. Sounds good. Give me those coordinates. something over there.
could be anywhere. Searching elsewhere. See anything here? Spread out. Find the suspect. Drone, initiate search protocol. Nothing All clear over here. here. All good. I'll try somewhere else. Go on, search this sector. Searching the area. Watch yourself. An alarm has been activated near you. Survey the area. Something took the alarm. Sweep the area. Nobody's here. Searching elsewhere. Keep your eyes open. AI successfully murdered. Now get to safety and I'll send our friend the good news. This is strange. The manifest for the shipment you just destroyed mentions an internment facility in the borough, but not one I've heard of. Well, they'll just have to do without the rubber hoses and black masks for a while. So, the person who replaced you it was an A.I. Looks like automation is slowly taking over everything. You serious? Yeah. The future's bright now. There's a whole new line of A.I. set to replace your whole industry. But there's a stuffy suit in the boardroom regretting that right about now. Thank you. Want to put your skills to good use? Get tech is always up for new blood. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to make a difference. I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. Yo. I'm fucking thrilled with us. We're feeling like a real revolution now. I won't argue that. They didn't count on a bunch of ordinary people being such a force. We'll show them. No stopping us.
Yo, this resistance shit ain't as hard as I thought. Agreed. Like, I stepped up to this PMC waist who was hustling some old grand, right? By the time I started with him, everyone was like, oh, fuck yeah, you're so hench, man. It was mad. It feels good and exciting to make a difference. Yeah, we gotta let everyone know we're dead sec, and we ain't getting nowhere. Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapons smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stopkovich, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good out these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purse. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Oh! Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking. The Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. That's a nice idea. But you have to know it sounds naive. What makes you think that this time will be different? Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office. An honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right. But however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. <laughs> Coming up today, 